Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about 12 tips to fix Outlook not receiving emails. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well. There can be universal errors like server not responding, network errors, etc. For that, you can wait for the response from your server and you can check back after some times and your problem will be solved. Other than that, there are many other issues that can cause your Outlook to not receive any emails. So let's see what those issues are and how we can solve them. Number 1. Junk Email well, there are many chances that your emails are coming into the junk folder and because of that you are not seeing them in your inbox folder. To get rid of this problem, just open your junk email folder, which is right here in my case. After that, right click on your email that is in your junk email folder. From here, go to your junk and from here, click on not junk. Any email from this particular sender will come into inbox from now on and it will not be in there in the junk folder so how easy and how cool it is now let's move on to the next one number two unblock the blocked contacts there are many chances that the email you are waiting from someone is blocked in your contact list so for that purpose you make sure to unblock that particular contact or at least check the list of blocked contacts so for that purpose, what you need to do, you need to open the settings of your Outlook account. This is my Outlook web. Here I have a gear icon. I'll just click on it. From here, click on view all Outlook settings. From here, go to your mail section. And here it says junk. I'll just click on that one. Here you will see all those people that you have blocked in your list. And you can clear them or you can say you can delete them from this list as well. Let's say I have a person as abc at email.com. I'll just hit enter. Now to remove this person from your blocked list, just click on this delete button and it will be deleted. How cool and how easy it is. I'll just close this one and now let's move on to the next one. Number three, work offline. Well, work offline is a feature that you will see on to the desktop application of your Outlook. Let me go back to my desktop application. Here we are. And in here, you will see a feature that is called as work offline. Just click on send slash receive option. And here you can see it says work offline. If you just hover over it, it will tell you what it is. It says work offline if you do not want to receive new emails. So maybe there is a case that you might have enabled this particular feature. And because of that, you are not receiving any emails into your inbox or any other folder. As you can see, now it is enabled. Now just click on it to disable it and now you are good to go. And every time there is an email in your account, you will receive that particular email. Let's move on to the next one. Number four, auto refresh Outlook inbox. Well, just like any other email engine, you can refresh your Outlook time to time to make sure that you have latest emails in your account. But you can also use the auto refresh feature of Outlook what it will do. It will refresh your Outlook on its own and you will have all the latest emails in your account. For that purpose, click on send receive option and then click on send receive groups. Just click on this drop down arrow and from here, go to define send receive groups. It will open a window like this. Here you see an option that says schedule and automatic send receive every. Make sure to go with the minimal time I'll go with five minutes. After every five minutes, it will check for any new email or it will check if there is an email in the draft, it will send it out. Or it will check if there is an email to be sent, it will send it out. So how cool and how easy it is. I'll just close this one and now let's move on to the next one. Number five, check the customized folder. Well. In Outlook, you can make folders and create rules to receive the emails from certain senders in your folders. For example, let's say here I have different emails available. What I want to do, I want to 
get all the emails from this particular person in a particular folder. How can I do that? Right click here, click on rules and click on create rules. So from here, you can see here, it says from CS graduate portal, I'll just click on this. Basically, this is my user. And here it says move the item to folder. So here I can select a folder in which I want to receive the emails from that particular user. You can create a new folder in here or you can select any folder that is already available. So that might be the chance that you have selected a folder for a particular user in your Outlook account. So make sure to check that folder. In my case, I have a folder named as Arjun University. I'll just open that one. So there might be a chance that the email I'm waiting will be in here. So in your case, make sure to check your customized folder and it will solve your problem. Number six, delete or check the rules. There is one more thing that you can do. And that is you can change the rule for a particular sender and can change his folder to inbox. For example, as I just showed you earlier that I have a folder in which I am receiving emails from a particular person. I can change the folder for that particular person back to inbox. How can I do that? Just click on it, right click on any of the emails and go to rules and click on create rules. From here, what you can do, you can again select the folder back to your inbox. So here, if I just click on inbox, now any email from that particular person will come into inbox folder. Number seven, clear cache. There might be a chance that because your cache is full for your outlook in your Windows operating system, and because of that, you are not receiving any emails. So for that purpose, you can clear the cache and you can move on. To clear your cache, press Windows R and here, write this command as local app data percentage slash Microsoft slash Outlook. Hit enter. It will open a folder for you. From here, it says ROM cache. Open this particular folder and make sure to delete every file from this particular folder and it will clear your cache. And now you'll be able to receive the emails in your inbox. How cool and how easy it is. Number eight, remove connected accounts. Well, in Outlook, you can connect or if I say you can use up to 20 accounts at a time. And sometimes it can be the reason that you are not been able to see your emails in your inbox. So to get rid of this problem, what you can do, you can remove your those accounts that you do not use oftenly. So for that purpose, go to your files, then go to your account setting, click on manage profiles. It will open a small window in front of you like this. Click on email accounts. Here, it will show you all those accounts that are connected or you can say that are available in your Outlook. From here, select anyone that you want to delete. So I have selected this one and if I click on this remove button, this account will be removed from my Outlook. So make sure to remove all those accounts that you do not use or you do not use very oftenly and you are good to go. Number nine, internet connection. Well, this might seem like to you that it's a very simple problem. Well, try to connect your internet connection because sometimes it is only because of unavailability of your internet connection that you do not receive any emails. For that, try to reload or open any other website to make sure if you have internet connection or not. Because sometimes in the cache of your browser, a website gets saved and even upon reloading it, it shows the same page again and again, no matter if there is internet or not. Same can be the case with your Outlook account on your web browser. If you do not have an internet connection and if you try to reload it because of the cache, it might show you the same page again and again. So it is better to open new tab and open any other website to see if you have internet connection or not. And in case if you do not, make sure to connect your internet connection. Number 10, inbox is full. Make sure that your inbox is not full and has free space available to receive further emails because there is a limit that gets applied on the number of emails you can receive. So make sure your limit or your inbox is not full. In case if it is, delete some of the emails from a particular sender, from inbox, from junk folders, etc. Here I have my junk email. I can delete all of these from here. I do not have any emails in here. You can do the same for your inbox. You can do the same for your customized folder. Here I have my customized folder. I can right click here and I click on delete all and every email from this particular folder will be deleted. 
or there is another feature that is called as sweep and you will only see it on the web outlook you can use that feature to delete all the emails from a particular person no matter if they are in inbox or junk emails number 11 check focused and other folders well here if you see i have two folders into my outlook first one is focused and the second one is other in the focus folder you will receive or it contains all the emails that are important and in the other folder it contains all the random emails so there are very high chances that your email might be in one of these folders so make sure to check both of these number 12 check the filters well here if you see here we have an option that says filters there is a very high chance that you have applied different filters on your inbox and those filters might be the reason that you are not seeing your emails in your inbox sometimes it is because we apply the filter for some particular reason and then forget about it so make sure to check your filter if i just click here here it says all it means every email will be available in this list and down here it says sort if you go here here i have selected or i have chosen to go with date so my emails will be sorted by date and down here it says newest on top so if there is any new email in my account it will be on the top so make sure to check your filters so these were 12 tips and tricks you can apply in order to make sure that you receive your emails in your outlook account i'll talk about two bonus tips in here check if your account is blocked well microsoft blocks some of the accounts for security reasons and that can be the case with you as well for that you can open your account on the web and if your account is blocked contact the customer support of microsoft or you can use your mobile number to verify your account number 14 stop google update service sometime you have to restart your outlook to receive or send emails it can be caused by the google update service for that open the services in your windows operating system so i'll just search for services here it is i'll just open that one and in here i'll look for google update service so i'll press w and here you can see i have google update service let me maximize this one right click on it and go to its properties and from startup type click here and click on disable and click on apply and click on ok do the same for this one as well right click here click on properties go to startup type click on disable and click on apply and you are good to go so these were different things that you can apply onto your outlook account in order to make sure that you receive all the emails in your inbox and that brings me to the end of today's video i hope now that you must have liked watching this one and if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask or if you want to suggest something please leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care